name is Toby. I am currently 11 years old and I'm from Southampton in England. I am in the Year 6 Wolverine class. It's a bilingual class and I'm here at Eaton House Broderick. I chose the topic War and the World because I find it very interesting knowing that lots of people are displaced from their homes every day because their country has a war. And another reason I chose it is because I can't, I can't be happy knowing that while we're in school learning, there's someone out there who's stuck on a boat with no food, no water and is suffering because they don't have a home. Um, I've learned a lot, but one of the things that really surprised me was while I was researching, I originally thought that every day about, you know, 100 people were displaced. Turns out it was so much more. Every day thousands of people have to leave their country. And it also made me really sad knowing how many people didn't even make it out of it. So I would like to try discourage war. So I am donating to charities to try stop this. I have set up a lucky dip in the store and it is really popular. It's stationary inside it and you pay one dollar and then you can close your eyes and feel around and then you can pick something out. It's little packs, each with like some pencils and post-it notes. So I'm going to use all this money to donate to the charity called the International Rescue Committee. Now this charity, instead of trying to stop the war, I'm just starting with helping the refugees. So this charity helps those in need, give them, it gives them homes, gives them food, water and better futures. The PYP exhibition is a culminating independent as well as collaborative learning experience where students identify a real world problem or an issue that is of significance to them personally, locally or globally. They then uh, inquire into it document and share their learning at the exhibition. To begin with, students embark on the journey by understanding the very purpose of the exhibition. It is after that that they identify a problem or an issue that they want to dive deeper into. They then create their own lines of inquiry, generate their inquiry questions all aligned to the central idea and then they begin their journey. Eventually, it's all about also gathering information from authentic and reliable sources. This is an opportunity for them to demonstrate their learner profile, their knowledge, their approaches to learning such as time management and self-management. Um, also, an opportunity to show how academically honest they are and their media literacy skills. The exhibition can be a challenging one for our young learners because it requires them to be well informed and passionate about a topic that they've chosen and are also expected to take action to initiate change. It challenges them to be creative and collaborative and show their critical thinking skills while managing their time and their selves, all of which are called 21st century skills, very important for our learners as we groom them to be global citizens of the future.